I'm Sasha Wilkins. I'm the founder and editor of LibertyLondonGirl.com, a lifestyle and fashion blog that has been going for about six years now. I always find it difficult to very precisely describe my style because I've got some very unusual shape. I'm not your typical up and down fashion editor shape. Um, so I tend to wear whatever I think suits me at a time. So I actually would say that my personal style is about style. It's about what looks good, what not what looks fashionable. I think the great thing about British style is that we cherry pick from all the different eras, 50s, 60s, 70s. No one wants to look like a pastiche that they've just come back in at the TARDIS from 1950. So for me, I cherry pick bits from every era. So we've got my 80s pop of neon in my shoes today. I'm wearing a cigarette pan, which I guess we'd say is the 50s. My top feels quite 60s. So I think it's personal style is about bringing everything together. I was a fashion editor for over 10 years before I moved to digital, and I think all editors and stylists have a tool book, toolbox of tips and tricks they use to make themselves and other people look better. And my absolute number one um, tool is to get my clothes tailored, um, get seams taken in, get my cuffs um, taken up, because everybody's got a different shape, and buying clothes off the peg, sometimes a bit of a tweak here and there can just make you not only feel better, but look better too. I've had a lovely time going through all the rooms here at the Bowdoin Autumn Winter Press Day looking for great things that I want in my and my godchildren's wardrobes. But the two things I absolutely loved, well, actually it's four things because I couldn't choose which bag I liked. All three of them. And I just think these are the perfect size. I kind of stopped carrying a handbag a while ago and I always use pouches because my back was hurting and the amount of rubbish I carry around. No one needs to carry um, old bus tickets, broken lipsticks, and biscuit crumbs around on a daily basis. So I like a small bag that doesn't fit so many biscuit crumbs. So I just think these are really nice leather. They're not going to mark up. They're a great size. You've got a wrist strap so you can do dancing. And I really like this one because it's smooth on the back and furry here. Because when you're holding the bag here, you're not going to get the leopard all mussed up on the inside. So I thought they were just really beautifully designed. Also, of course, you could pop them into a bigger handbag and use them in the evenings. I thought that was clever. This is my hero piece. It's a leather pencil skirt, really beautifully made. The leather is really soft, and if you look inside, it's got a really, really good quality um, peg lining here, so when you wear it, it's going to feel really sexy and slinky against the skin. But it's got a grown-on waistband, which is always very flattering, so I've got a bit of a tum and hidden seaming. But the best thing is the price, it's £175 which isn't cheap, but a leather pencil skirt on the high street in a comparable quality would be three or four hundred pounds. So for me, I just think this is one of those pieces you'll buy and you'll keep it in your wardrobe forever. So yeah, hero piece.